Glenn Murray's. He's, it's hard to show, but you he, might see, see it the, better from where the phone is. I look, I'll just go out there and have a walk around. He's, what, he's in that little area. He's in that grass he's bit. He's one just of the photos. Like, there's a grass bit, and then he's just there. Okay, so he's photo? just over the side of the... He's like there. Oh, okay, cool. And then I've got better photos of him. No worries. So the door that's easy Let's go to get him. To, this one. No, 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 there's one just here through the garage. Dogs. What sort of dogs are these? Some sort of oodles? Uh, a <laughs> spoodle and a cavoodle. Oh. Come here. I'll go in. Okay. Look. Bathroom. In the bathroom. I'll go in. In the bathroom. Go on. Come on. Go on. Shut the door. Shut the door. Don't give him your food. I'm not sure if he's dead or alive. Wow. Well, it doesn't look too healthy, does it? I'd say the dogs have already got this one. He's already been munched by the cavoodle or the spoodle. Obviously, he came into the backyard. There's little kids in the backyard. Uh, you can't really hold it, hold it against the dog for uh, for killing the snake. It's just another local copperhead. All these copperheads are brought in now because of the, uh, all the work that's going on in the area with the freeway. And they're coming into houses. But yeah, he got munched by the dog. And it's a male, I think, as well. And we'll get rid of him and uh, take him away. We'll bring it up and show it to the girl. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. Yeah. I think the dogs killed him. You're very lucky. So what do you think? It's a copperhead. It can easily kill the dogs. But uh, obviously they didn't get bitten. So, so how many punches mm -hmm. has he got on him? He doesn't seem too bad actually, but he's, uh, he's got a, a couple of big holes here. You can see a big hole just there where the dogs have grabbed him around from both sides. Yep. And, uh, and uh, his head looks a bit, little bit mangled up as well. Eh? Hey? Oh, well, go the dogs. These are native animals. We do need snakes as well. You know, they're, they're not that bad. Hey, I agree, but we have dogs as our first line of defense. Hey, yeah, yeah, it worked well. You know, this, is a, this is a pretty good backyard, but you do back onto a swamp. Let's have a look at the backyard. Yeah. Uh, well, they, they, obviously the uh, the poodles and uh, are, are smart enough to avoid the bite. Go the mm. Mm. Maybe. Yeah, but not all the time. You know, their luck will run out of. You know, just, you just may have to make sure that uh, you keep an eye on this area. Yeah, you've done all right. It's a nice backyard. Yeah, like it's it's fairly well. You can see lots of grass. There's not too many places for the snake to hide. And, uh, you know, it can't hide up close to the house, which is good. But, you know, they will come in. They'll smell the water because it's a salt water pool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. They, they, uh, they can come in and they'll, they'll have a drink out of that, like, a, like any other animal if it does get hot. There's also a fountain over there. Uh, yeah, and the fountain, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that attracts the frogs and the lizards and all that other stuff. And he comes in, he gets a feed as well. But he's been out there for a few hours today already. Hey? Eh? Where? There? That's just the way he's curled up. Alright, oh, okay. Anyway, he's sick. I'll take him out I'll take him away and get rid of him for you. So am I, I'm always sad when they're dead. I'm happy in another way. Yeah well. You're happy that he was still here when I got here, I suppose. Well, there's that too. Yeah. yeah. 